with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus told his disciples a parable. Can a blind person guide a blind person? Will not both fall into a pit? No disciple is superior to the teacher, but when fully trained, every disciple will be like his teacher. Why do you notice the splinter in your brother's eye, but do not perceive the wooden beam in your own? How can you say to your brother, Brother, let me remove that splinter in your eye, when you do not even notice the wooden beam in your own eye. <coughs> you hypocrite, remove the wooden beam from your eye first. Then you will see clearly to remove the splinter in your brother's eye. A good tree does not bear rotten fruit, nor does rotten tree bear good fruit. For every tree is known by its own fruit. For people do not pick figs from turned bushes, nor do they gather grapes from brambles. A good person out of the store of goodness in his heart produces good, but an evil person out of the store of evil produces evil. For from the fullness of the heart, the mouth speaks. <coughs> the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. We'll be playing a video from the Diocese. You know, I think one of the most important pieces of the Gospel message is the message of, of unyielding and, and everlasting love. And so if we're about love, we're about generosity. So charity is love. And the more we can spread our charity to others, the more love we're spreading. And that's what Christ called us to. And I do think that if we always approach charity as a yes, and if we can go a little bit farther every year, we would be in a great place. With the annual Catholic Appeal, the whole Catholic community comes together to extend a hand to families and individuals in need. We assist them to find stability, a haven of mercy from which to journey with dignity and hope accompanied by God's divine grace. Together as Catholics, we are immersed in the many merciful works of the Church. We accompany families experiencing many forms of physical, emotional, and spiritual poverty with the mercy of Jesus. Join me in making a sacrificial gift this year. Together, we can ensure that our neighbors in need feel the joy of knowing God's tender care. Thank you. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus always abide with you and your family. And the that's the 
charity works in the diocese, and this in the announcement, 314 individuals last year alone received the uh, recipient of the diocese annual Catholic campaign. And the total donations of our parish will be um, the 25 percent of that will will return to us. So the, our total donation of our annual Catholic campaign, the 25 percent will be back to us. It will return to us the 25 percent for our own uh, charity works, like giving out lunches every week, sandwiches every week. So just yesterday I went. We went out to distribute uh, sandwiches. So there's one guy when I went out of the cup of my of the vehicle, one guy said, an Asian gangster. <laughs> <laughs> and then when he realized I was wearing a clerical attire, he said, Oh father. <laughs> so I was with Colin, Colin's there, that, that young man. I was with, with him yesterday. So that's beautiful. To, and then last year we, there was one man with a with an injury in, in his foot, like very really swollen, an injury in his foot, and he had no place to stay, to stay warm because in the middle of winter. So one guy came here, and he was very sorry with that guy uh, sitting down at a Dollar General. So I went, like nine o'clock, eight o'clock, I went to him, I brought him to, I brought him to uh, Victoria for, for a room for the night, because the guy said that he had, he, he, he need to take the bus, but no more bus on that day. It was very late in the afternoon, so we went, he took the bus the next day. So I brought for the night, his leg was very swollen, he could not, uh, walk. So I brought him to Victoria. So that's our charity also, our charity in the parish. But for now for our reflection since that's nine minutes and I have my minimum twelve minutes <laughs> <laughs> twelve minutes sharing so I will just give uh, so nine minutes and I, I have three minutes more. Uh, just points for our reflection in our readings today. In our first reading, the look um, from the book of Sirach. The fruit of a tree shows the care it has had. So too does one's peace disclose the bent of one's mind. Very beautiful. The fruit of a tree shows the care it has had. So the, the fruit of the tree. This beautiful reflection of how much we care for the fruits, our fruits, the people that is entrusted, the people that are entrusted to us for our care. What are what are they become? How do they become right now? They are our fruits. And so, like in the gospel today, like in the gospel today, a good tree does not bear rotten fruit, nor does a rotten tree bear good fruit. Second point for our reflection is, no disciple is superior to the teacher, but being fully trained, every disciple will be like his teacher, but the line fully trained, fully trained. This is our responsibility also to fully train. But also the side of the, the students, the disciples, you could not really learn if you do not listen. Amen. 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 Third point for our reflection is the stores. A good person out of the store of goodness in his heart produces good. But an evil person out of a store of evil produces evil. So what's what are the things that are in our stories? Stories. We pay for the stories. 
stories. So what's our stories in our hearts? But when we put things in our, the stories of our hearts, we must put good things. And when we put good things in the stories of our hearts, we must cultivate them. Cultivate. So that when, when the time is for us, when we show in our words and our actions, those are only good words and good actions. My my priest uh, before he passed away when we were seminarian he would always say to us oops ex abundantia cordis os locutor when we were we were teasing each other or we were laughing we were when we were seminarian and he would say ex abundantia cordis os locutor from the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks. <laughs> From the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Amen. Amen. Amen.